Uh, so our question today is uh, regarding neck pain. A lot of us use the computer for long hours. Um, there isn't enough mobility in our day throughout our day because of the kind of work that we do mostly. And uh, neck pain because of posture or maybe some other reasons. A lot of young people, younger people, maybe the older as well, have neck pain. You know, their um, neck start paining over a time. And there doesn't seem to be a very easy remedy to this. So, so can you just elaborate on uh, the reasons for why people get neck pain and what is it that they should do in such a case? Yeah, if you see the uh, anatomy of the brain uh, where the brain ends and the stem starts, the spinal cord stem starts, uh, uh, and then the spinal cord casing comes in of the bone structure, which is the vertebra. So, you have those first three bones at the neck. Right. Yeah. Hmm. It plays a lot of vital role. So, uh, the, the area of pain out there is called cervical spondylitis and they have uh, beautiful decorative names for all those things in pathology in modern science. Uh, most of the re, uh, uh, imp uh, uh, real reason for neck pain is uh, mainly because of uh, particular position in which uh, you place yourself all the time in the world that uh, as you said the computers nowadays uh, the uh, whole uh, work scenario is on the screen whatever job you do uh, so you are fixing your face your eye everything onto the screen for number of hours in a day where the movement of the neck is not there so, any part of the body movement should be there because of the uh, lubrication what is required out there. The, the synovial membrane of all the ligaments and you know joints and uh, those uh, parts which are movable in the body uh, like your vertebra, your shoulders, your ankles, you know, your knees and your hip and your elbows, your wrist, your fingers and all this is a synovial membrane producing synovial fluid is the lubricant out there which keeps the plate lubricated and then uh, if you are going to keep uh, certain things stiff out there without the movement then there is going to be uh, some level of inflammatory accumulation out there in whichever part of the body the inflama inflammatory accumulation crosses beyond certain levels then it will be very difficult for our biochemistry and hematology to clear them and this uh, inflammatory accumulation out there which is not been getting cleared uh, in time which is going to be constantly out there more than the level which should not which should be there then what happens is that's going to you know really affect the function of those movable parts of those areas this is this is i'm telling you in general i, I think any any uh, normal person can understand this so where we are stuck with this uh, 14 hours and 16 hours and 18 hours of hard working with your computer screens or your your whatever screens your ipad screens or mobile screens or computer screens you know even if you you know, work for 10 to 12 hours then you are on the mobile screen for at least three four hours in a day without your knowledge then you are watching something in your ipad and it, it, every time you know when you are going to be uh, fixing your face into a screen previously it was not like that if you take a household woman who does not go on to the computer, they do a lot of work. They keep on moving, they, they turn this side, they turn that side, you know, to pick up things and, you know, while well, cooking, you know, there are so much of body movements are there, you know, what not. And uh, the, the, the most uh, other uh, uh, important reason is lack of sleep. Lack of sleep plays a lot of role because of the uh, uh, turbulent way of meeting the economic conditions of the life, you know, to keep your uh, sociological status, uh, to maintain your sociological status, uh, you have to push yourself to make more money, then uh, that's going to give you a lot of uh, imbalance in your emotional friend and uh, that leads to lack of sleep. Uh, lack of sleep is also one of the major reason for your neck pain because you are not resting. Most of the cases in the lack of sleep uh, you know has a direct impact over your uh, liver, the liver regulation. 
and uh, lack of sleep also leads to uh, ill health because uh, the generation uh, regeneration of the new cells which is going to be hampered so there are innumerable number of reasons for these days you know if you take uh, 10 or uh, 10 people today of the young people of uh, in 20s or late 20s mid 20s or late 20s at least in my books 5 to 6 percent has a neck pain because we completely lost uh, the habit of going and playing any games we don't spend any time for our healthy way of living we only spend all our time towards the job in which you are involved or the business in which you are involved then if you are going to turn around and say I have a neck pain I think you should be able to digest that pain and live with that that's how I put it that way I am not arrogant here to say that we don't even have knowledge of how we are supposed to maintain ourselves like the way you sweep and swap the house and dust the house and keep it clean you are supposed to do certain things to maintain your physiological system right yeah, which we have failed to do that in, in, in the last 30-40 years so this is, these are all number of reasons for the neck pain for which has been reported in most of the people in the present society today thank you